What is going on guys? Rated Designs here. Thank you guys for being here again. I'm going to be uploading this again because um, the last video just didn't get many views and the reason is I think YouTube had another update and of course the time I make a video about YouTube they screw me over. So obviously that's karma coming at me but uh, whatever. Knock on one. Hopefully we can get a big response out of this video. Anyways, uh, today's just going to be a little bit of a revamp and kind of a revisit of a tutorial that I did uh, a long time ago, I think almost a year ago. It was my, you know, the, the way I make my 3D text. And a lot of people are asking me, you know, how do you get it so crisp? How do you get the highlights everywhere? Well, here is going to be the number one tutorial that I can give you guys, period. I'm going to show you every little detail that I do with my um, text. Um, there could be multiple layers that could be very, you know, uh, little layers, it just depends on, you know, what it is. So, of course, um, I have millions of materials, so uh, if you guys want to download a material pack, please do, um, but for this one, I want to show you guys how you guys can start to make your own materials and, you know, really uh, build on your own stuff, so, uh, yeah, definitely stay, you know, definitely uh, focus on both that and the text, so, um, anyways, so basically, before we start, I'd like to say thank you guys for the amazing support. Um, I've been getting out, out of my, you know, just on Twitter, you know, I've been just very in a, in a very tough zone lately, and, you know, a lot of my boys have just been really helping me out, and, you know, I really appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, so like the shit out of this video, and let's see how much uh, we can get. But, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to double-click, you know, anywhere, and today we're just going to, we're going to start, actually... Don't double click. We're going to just start with Motex. So you're going to go to MoGraph, Motex. And the Motex right here, of course, it's going to give you just regular text. So right here, I'm just going to type in um, rated, ooh, rated text tut. Okay. Now we're going to find a font. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, from what I can find, I'm gonna find. Of course, me. Uh, I'm gonna find something that I like to use. Uh, we're gonna use this one. It's called A Vengeance Heroic Avenger. Pretty cool font. You know, shrink it down. Of course. Now, the first thing I do is I make the depth 300. Now, the reason I do 300, and we're gonna render it out real quick just to show you, uh, the 300 depth. It kind of just shows that the text is going uh, out of. Ooh. Whoops, I forgot that I have my cell renderer on. Sorry about that, guys. But, yeah, um, the reason that I use uh, shall I say, you know, 300 depth um, is because, you know, it just gives it this nice look like it's coming out of the back, of course, as you guys can see. Um, so, yeah, we're actually going to erase that and we're just going to we're gonna work with this. So, anyways, once we have that, uh, now this is um, this is where a lot of people kind of get stuck, you know. Um, here's here's the biggest part right here. Um, you're gonna add two fillet caps. You're gonna add a fillet cap at the start, and you're gonna add a fillet cap at the end. Now, the first thing you're gonna want to do is is you're gonna want to add two radius or one radius, and then radius one again. And this is for just regular. We're gonna do two renders today. This is just a regular text. Uh, and this is going to be uh, just a regular one that I do. And this is going to be your front color. So if we want to do a color, um, whatever. Uh, now, this goes for white too, so don't think that, you know, this is only for color. This does go for white also. You can do the same thing. So today we're going to do, what color do I feel like doing today? And we'll do like a purple. All right. I'm, yeah, we'll know. We'll, 200. All right. And then what you're going to do is uh, right click on your circle area when you're making that and make it a round cube or a object soft shadow. And it just gives it, you know, nice look to it, of course. Or you can go like me and just kind of find something weird like, you know, a knot or a, uh, a torus, you know, and... Uh, I just like using object soft shadow. But anyways, um, whichever color, you're going to go to your luminance. And your luminance is going to be the identical thing of 
your color. So it's 117, 0, 200. So 117, 0, 200. Brightness down to 7. You'll see why I use that. Maybe actually about 2, I actually will bring that. Reflection. We're going to add a reflection. We're going to bring that down to about 7. Uh, we're going to go into where it says texture. You're going to click the little arrow. You're going to go down to Fresnel. And you're going to switch the mix strength to about 12. Then once you have that, you're going to want to go to your specular. And some, some people like to take it off. Um, I like to leave it on. And I like to just pull the height down a little bit more. Maybe down to about 10. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to put that on the first text. Now, you're going to duplicate this layer, Command C, Command V. And what you're going to do is, is you know, you're going to keep this the same color, but you're going to on your specular. And this is how you're going to get the shine on the outside of the text. You're going to go to an 85 height. Actually, we're going to bring the height all the way up to 100, and we're going to bring this to width about to 60. And then what you're going to do is drag this over the same text. And in your selection area, bottom right corner where your text uh, stuff is, about or about your actual texture that you're using. You're going to switch the selection to R1, capital R1. What that does is it puts it on the outside corners of the front. And then we're going to duplicate this layer, pull it below, and take both of the textures off. Go down to a black. You guys can make a... I, I use this black that I always use. And we're going to switch the fillets on this to about three. And then we're going to pull it back, just this tad, and then we're going to render it out. So here's what the render is supposed to look like. And, and, you know, of course, this is going to be a long tutorial, guys, but it's going to be something you guys are going to have a lot of fun with. But as you guys can see, the outer text right here, it gives that shadow from the light, or not the shadow, the shine from the light. And that's what a lot of people struggle getting. And what that is, is it's just the second material that I added. Now, this is something that a lot of people, for instance, um, malls and uh, some of those other graffiti artists, they do a lot because they like to get that shine off the curves. Um, this is the technique that I use with regular text and it's something that I just tend to like because it gives it that that extra, I guess, oomph that I'm wanting. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But Now that's the first text and I'm going to render these out for you. Um, so for this one, I'm actually going to render it out. Rated T-U-T. And I'm going to render it out, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I am back, of course. Um, anyways, let's get this right back on track. Um, second part of the text is just going to be a little bit of kind of like my old engraved glow text tutorial, but I wanted to revisit it because I feel like there's another way to do it. And this is a way that I just recently learned, so credits to... Um, Louie on this bad boy, so, you know, much love to you, bud, but I found out how you did it, but, um, anyways, people are gonna think I'm stupid, but I found out how I did it, or how he did it. What you're gonna, anyways, what you're gonna do is, is already having these texts, now, of course, this is, I'm gonna do an example of how I did the Obey text. Now, if you go to the Obey background, there was a texture like this with uh, you know, a uh, engraved type of text. So what we're going to do is you're going to grab a texture. Now, download my pack. It's in a few videos ago. Uh, it's, you should come with a bunch of these. And just use the texture, and you're going to want to switch the projection to frontal or cubic. I usually do cubic, uh, depending upon what it is. Uh, and that's, that's perfect. So then after is, you know, we'll take a, we'll use blue on this. Take another blue texture and switch it to frontal. And what you're going to do is with the blue text and basically your outer layer, is you're going to switch instead of fill a caps to fill it as your back part. And what that does is, is if I if I uncheck this, is as you guys can see, uh -huh. it kind of makes it see through. And it's just the fillet instead of the actual cap. So, you know, of course it uh, it works. So what we're going to do is. Let's pull this in front 
of the text, like the one that you want to see, because what it's going to do is it's going to give us a nice outline. And I'm going to render part of it just to show you guys it, because this is a texture. This one's going to take a little bit to render. So um, before I pause this real quick, um, which you guys won't see, but I'll because I'll edit it out. But um, I'm trying to give you guys a good see. As you guys can see, it kind of hovers and kind of engraved effect, and it's a lot cooler than the one I did. So I definitely want to show you guys this one. This is a way cooler way to do it. Um, so yeah, definitely um, credits to everybody else who told me how to do that. I don't remember the exact people, but yeah. Anyways, I'll be right back, and then we'll show you guys the um, the effects in Photoshop. Okay, so now that we have both of our texts rendered, we're going to, whoops, my background templates. All right. We're just going to create a new document. The 1280 by 720, of course. Whoa. We're going to make this a nice dark gray that I love using. And then we're going to open up both of our texts because, you know, they're both altered in a little you know, pretty similar way, but we'll see. Uh, let's find it real quick. Right here. Open both of them up. I'm just going to drag them on in. Shrink them on down. And right here. Anyways. We are going to show basically the settings and what I do for each text. So for this text right here, down here, that I'm moving, this is a pretty simple one. Uh, it's basic, just uh, NFX. You're going to go to Gradient Overlay. You're going to switch it to Overlay, 75%, just like the last text tutorial that I did. Drop Shadow. Now you're going to want to go to, hold on, you guys. But anyways, you're going to want to go to zero distance, 30 spread, 20 size, and about anywhere between 40 and 50 on opacity. And that's basic layer style for that. Um, of course, there's always the addition of adding textures onto it and just more stuff to give it that more of a grunge feel. So now I'm going to just hide that one because I want to focus on this one. Now, um, what a lot of people don't realize is um, with very clean text like this, if you add too much of a texture to it, it ruins the color. It really does. And uh, my old text tutorials that I had, um, this basically was ruined. And I realized that and I want to fix that. So what you're going to do is you're going to switch, you know, do the same thing we did the other one. Um, gradient overlay, overlay. 75% pull the dark down a little bit. Gives it that nice gradient of color. Drop shadow. 0, 30, 20, 40. And, you know, if you want to add some texture, I recommend using grunge brushes. So we're going to add a new layer and just add uh, Clipping Master. So uh, grunge brushes you guys can find in my 10K pack. I put out a whole brush pack, and they're all these. Um, as you guys can see, but what we're going to do is on the top, we're going to add some white grunge. And it's just adding them different areas and switch it to overlay. Switch it to about 35%. And then add another clipping mask and add it to make it black. And um, yeah, you can do bottom area a little bit darker. And you're going to switch that to overlay and switch it to about 35%. And what it does is it gives that grunge effect to it, but um, not as um, you know severe as what it should be. Um, so these are the two texts that I wanted to show you guys. Um, is basically the clean gloss text and the nice um, grungy outline text <coughs> that uh, I've been using for the Obey tutorial, or the Obey background. And just some cool stuff. So of course uh, check out everything you guys possibly can. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the next tutorial is going to be a manipulation um, 
tutorial, I think I'm going to just do, you know, color corrections and stuff like that because a lot of people tend to uh, ask me a lot for the color correction and text tutorials because they always want to do Cinema 4D tutorials. Yeah, so uh, I'm not a modeler. I don't like using Cinema 4D. I'm a big Photoshop guy, so. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please leave a like and a comment on uh, the like just because you love me. <laughs> but the uh, comment, um, you know, definitely give me some uh, tips on, you know, some stuff that you guys want to see in the future. Uh, because I just, you know, I'm kind of running out of ideas. This was not, this idea came to me from a fan, actually. So they wanted to know how I did, you know, par, you know parts of texts and uh, my settings for it. And this is my new settings. So, uh, you know, old, back, I think almost a year ago, I didn't really use this. So, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this. So that for the third time now. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, like the shit out of this video. Check out all my boys in the box. Uh, all my social links in the description. Uh, check out all of it. Follow me on Behance and Dribble and uh, Twitter and everything. So, uh, yep. And uh, enter District 7's recruitment challenge, guys. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be hyped. It's going to be epic. So, uh, thanks again, guys. Deuces.